what is going on guys and welcome back for another video yo i haven't been back lately because y'all remember the last video i did i said i relaxed my hair and i kind of regret not relaxing it um so i was just at a bypass so what to do with it what i decided to do was look i just have to be where i'm at i'm relaxed um and my relaxed hair is not damaged at all so i'm gonna stay right here where i'm at i'm getting ready to wash it but prior to washing it i am going to do this pre-poo on it or this bond treatment by cream of nature all right so i'm going to use this and then i'm going to actually shampoo with the cream of nature organ oil with no sulfate i am going to do a deep conditioner but the deep conditioner is going to be what is the originals olive oil deep conditioner i'm going to do a deep conditioner with this condition i'll be back when i put the deep conditioner in it and we'll talk more and i'm back and i did my deep conditioner already so now i'm getting ready to put my leave-ins in and these are my leave-ins in this order so i put my alpha g in the protein leave-in conditioner and then the green tea the carotene green tea, these are protein based products. I follow up with the Oldie But Goodie. This is pink oil moisturizer. And this is the Wave Nouveau moisturizer. These are what it says moisturizing. These are moisture based products. And you can tell moisture based products because the first ingredient in them, if you read it, starts with water. Yeah, so these are moisturizing products. And then I follow up with these two. And y'all remember Kimmy Oil? This is a really old deep goodie. I used to put this in my daughter's head when she was little. And I use Camilla Rose the Honey Hydrate also. So I mix these two together. What I do is I let my hair air dry. Um, I actually wrap my hair and leave it that way. And then when it's like 50% dry, I'll take it down and style it if it needs to be a little wet. What I'm going to do to my hair this time is a two stretch twist going back and I'll wear that like that for a week before I take it out. Now, let me tell you, I've been relaxed and natural. The biggest difference between relaxed hair and natural hair is when you are relaxed, when your hair is wet, you want to be very careful with combing it. So I try not to comb my hair when it's like wet, wet, wet because this has actually started drying. With natural hair, you don't want to comb it at all when it's dry because then that um, adds to breakage. So that's the two major differences between being relaxed and natural. Both of them are very high maintenance um, choices. Being, na being natural is high maintenance because you have to detangle. You have to make sure that you are wetting your hair as you're detangling and then when you are relaxed, you want to be very careful in combing your hair while it's wet. And then you got to be careful styling your hair and having your hair down on your shoulders constantly so it can get snagged. Because I didn't realize my hair was as long as it was and I put my pocketbook on my shoulder and the strap went here. And I was like, oh, shoot. But normally I wear my hair up. Okay, let's get this. That's, that's enough chit chat. Okay, that's enough chit chat. So what I do is... And this is the first time I'm using this bottle. I spray. These are the only two products that I use that I don't combine when I'm applying them to my hair. Somebody told me rice water will help my edges come back. I'm going to try that. I've never tried rice water. So I'm going to try to see if I can get my edges to come back and play. Now mind y'all, I'm over 50, so I don't know if it's too late or if it's a situation where better late than never, I don't know. We're about to see because I'm about to start using the rice, incorporating the rice water routine for my edges. And yes, I do use my products generously. Spray those edges. A little I have. This, I don't know, I couldn't find it with a spray. Um, nozzle. Normally it has a spray nozzle on here, so I just have to Put it in my hand and just kind of slop it up there. Put 
put some more in my hand. Get those in the ends. All right, now this is where I start combining products. So I put it. Pink oil moisturizer and the way new go together. And the best way to see if products are going to get along, rub them together in your hand. If they don't resist each other, then they're pretty probably going to be safe in your head. And when they resist each other, you'll know it start beating up. They don't play nice together. I am going to combine the Camilla Rose and this hydrating honey is really good I used to use this um, this is a staple product I've used this when I was natural too a couple of drops of the Kimmy oil in there from Daddy and together And you want to be not as generous with this because you don't want your hair like oily looking. All right. So what I'm going to do now is actually wrap my hair. I had to learn how to wrap my hair all over again because I totally forgot how to do it. And what I do right here is I actually wrap my hair and let it air dry. How I wrap my hair is I use this to comb my hair down. Even though you're natural, even though you relax, you still want to use a wide tooth comb. You don't want to be using a small tooth comb. If I was um, natural, this would take so much longer. After I do that, I take a small tooth comb and I part it using the back side of the comb. And then I just kind of Rake it. I'm not combing through my hair. Y'all can see I'm picking the comb up. And I do go back and forth. It was the point and the purpose. I like my wraps to be neat. So that's the point. And that's the purpose for me. And I just keep taking it around. Now, if anybody know an easy way to wrap, let me know because I had to figure it out. Like I said, I was, I was natural for more than five years. So I didn't have, there was no reason for me to wrap my hair. Just to show y'all I'm not putting up, pulling out any hair. Because I am like going very lightly across the top and then I all right y'all my hair is wrapped um sorry my daughter called so I had to kind of cut but look I think that's pretty good I think that that's that's pretty good right I think that's pretty good so now what I'll do is I'll tie it up and just let it dry and then if I don't take it down tonight I'll take it down tomorrow I'm gonna do the two strand twist and I'll do that using the lot of body um, foaming mousse yeah and this the holds amazing and my hair stays shiny the whole time yeah that is my hair update y'all I am relaxed now it's official I'm, I'm relaxed this is where I'm at. This is where I'm going to be. And this is where I'm going to embrace. And we're going to work beautifully together. Been relaxed before. And I know I can do it again. I will talk to you guys next time. Come back and see me. 
and let's talk hair. Actually, next time, we're going to talk makeup. Talk to you guys later. Bye.